here's Mike. Mike represents a switch. Mike's the server, so he gets to create the VLANs that the other switches will receive. His friends represent the other switches. The cloud represents all of Mike's friends. So, by the end of the day, or by the time all of the switches have received the VLAN data, all of them will be in sync with each other. They all know what's going on. Here's Mike again. His social network is getting a bit crowded. His biggest issue is actually John. This is because John has too many inactive VLANs. His ports aren't being used, so he's not communicating effectively, and he's sucking up bandwidth. To deal with this issue, Mike will initiate pruning. Only the server is allowed to initiate pruning. This will prune the inactive VLANs, taking them away, thus allocating the bandwidth in the network better, since it's not being wasted. Now Mike is obviously much happier. John can finally communicate with his peers better than before, without losing bandwidth. Here's Mike again. You'll see him again soon, so don't get too sick of him. Mike's a pretty cool guy. He's our server, so he wants to tell his information to someone else. So here's John. John's our client. John is going to accept what Mike is telling him and pass it on to his buddy, Lauren, who is also a client. The same process will occur until all of Mike's friends, or the switches in the network, have the same information. But what happens when John wants to edit Mike's information? He can't. John's a client. In client mode, you cannot add, modify, or delete any VLANs. So, John is stuck with the information that Mike has given him. If he wants to change the information, he could change to transparent mode. Once again, we have Mike. This time, however, when Mike whispers to John, something different will happen. John will not be able to receive the information that Mike is giving him. This is because his mode is set to transparent. Transparent mode works like this. John will receive the message, but he won't store it. He'll simply forward the message to the next person.
However, unlike client mode, John can create his own VLANs, but he just won't participate in the network. He can only forward Mike's information, but he will not store it. If John wants to have Mike's information, his VLANs will disappear and then become Mike's.